Welcome to my wardrobe. This autumn season, I'm adding some new pieces such as pleated skirt and moon bag from Uniqlo C and another pleated skirt from Sizen into my wardrobe. So today I would like to share some autumn outfits with you. A little bit introduction about myself. My height is 5'3". I usually buy petite sizes. My weight is 117 pounds. I'm 9 months postpartum so I have a wide waist now. The first outfit today I picked some trendy color this year which are various shades of brown hues. This pleated skirt from Uniqlo C is color blocked by brown and gold. It's full of an autumn vibe itself. I was obsessed with the sheen it shows. Though the price is very budget friendly, but the quality of the look is definitely beyond the price itself. I matched it with a dark navy cashmere top from Evelyn. I want to find something oversized, but this top is in size extra small, so you can tell it shows my waist. If I have more choices from my own wardrobe, I would swap this top with an oversized sweater. This gray color sweater is from Sizen a few years ago. To complete the outfit, I matched it with a similar gray color beret and a pull-in bag. This gray sweater is chunky, fluffy. It takes the outfit to the late autumn or early winter vibe. The entire look is very cozy for a sunny winter afternoon. I was really impressed by the glow reflected from the pleated skirt. I hope you can see it from the camera too. This super chunky sweater always reminds me of pom-poms from my childhood garments. So I can't stop playing with them and stay nostalgic for a second. I was looking for something from my wardrobe to wear in this transitional weather. This season white shirt is my wardrobe staple. I matched it with another season merino top. The sweater also has some red brown tone. I hope you can see from the reflection in the mirror. This cardigan is hand knitted by me. The pattern is designed by a Danish knit designer. The brand is called My Favorite Things Knitwear. I knit it with alpaca yarn. It's warm and super soft. I matched it with the half moon shaped bag, which is also purchased from Uniqlo C. It has a red brown tone, which matches with the brown in cardigan and red in the pant pattern. This next look is hand knitted sweater top with pleated skirt from Sizen in bottle green. The pattern is also by My Favorite Things Knitwear. The overall cable pattern is so classic and the white sleeve cuff design is very modern. This daily look is also very autumn. The flowy trench coat is from Sizen years ago. I'm very happy with my purchase from Uniqlo, like this bag. Um, the bag with the pleated skirt are all made of materials which are not very expensive, but they definitely look high quality at the same time with a very gentle price. The trench coat is flowy but not wrinkle resistant, so you can tell it's a little old. But I do like the color combination of the camel and red brown. This long shirt can be wear as a coat. It's made of cotton from Uniqlo. I paired it with a legging from Muji and a pant from a Japanese brand Soso. I prefer the Soso pant and white sneaker look. How do you think? This long shirt is made of cotton, very comfortable, but it easily gets wrinkled. This year, Uniqlo has a similar long shirt available on their website. If you like the silhouette, don't forget to check it out. This blouse is from Sizen years ago. I picked this one to match the new pleated skirt I bought because I found a very similar green color in this blouse. 
and the blouse brings some brown to the outfit too. So I picked a bag from Sizen to complete the look. The bag used to be camel, but after years of using it, the leather become darker. I like the worn marks; it makes the bag very unique. The maxi length perfectly creates a taller look, and the wide waistband design hide my postpartum waist better than the narrow ones. The top is from Muji. The bottom is from Soso. Bag is from Uniqlo C again. The hat is a hand knitted piece by me. The pattern is also by my favorite things knitwear. The slim look top matches really nice with a super wide leg pants. The only two things I hope can be changed is the waist design of the pants, which is visible elastic pants,、um, elastic waist. The length of the pants is a little too short. It did show the beautiful ankle, but it also shows the calf. I have wide calf, so I hope the pants could be a little longer. I found two of my favorite ways to wear this Uniqlo bag. One is to carry in hand. The other is used as a crossbody bag. I'm not a fan of shoulder bag look for this one. This top in coffee and has a little stretchy is a staple piece. You'll see me create layers with this one a lot, like this outfit. I'm adding some layers by wearing a white shirt. Out of that, I tied the shirt to make a taller look. But I hope the shirt could be more oversized. This shirt is not a slim one, but also not an oversized one. It will be an item I'll consider to invest for my wardrobe. The jeans is from Made Well. It has a flare open. I love to pair it with loafers to show a little feet will make the look breathable. Maybe better for this transitional weather. This look is cool, isn't it? Styling wise, I'm bold to try new things. So I found the garments from Soso are very interesting. They're inspired by traditional Japanese clothes, but I always try to add some modern elements to give this look some contrast. Here I matched the Soso signature pattern, the number pattern pants, with one of my hand knitted item, the Florence tank, pattern by a Finnish designer Sari Nordland. To complete the look. I add a white beret and the Uniqlo bag. The lace pattern of the top is feminine, but the pants break the feminine vibe. The white sneaker goes really well with the pants. I love to see the contrast like this. And how do you like it? I hope you enjoy my chatty styling video. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.